So, we had the Kings playing against the Bucks. The Kings, the surprise team of the season. The Aaron Fox, one of the best players in the NBA this year, hits the uh, buzzer beater to end the first half. And they started off really well. And the offense is just so good, man. Even though I don't believe them, you know, actually being a title contender this year. I mean, they have laid the foundations. Kevin Herder has been spectacular. His shooting, once again, is coming back up a little bit, which is great to see. Drew Holiday, man. Yeah, <laughs> he has been also so great. And it's just, I mean, those both, those both these teams are so fun to watch, actually, as of right now. And it was wonderful to see, man. Giannis pulls up from the three-point line. And, and when he hits that, you know, you're in big trouble. And we were in a really fun back-and-forth game. And Kevin Herder hits the three-pointer here to give the Kings the lead. And the Bucks, despite having some really solid defense, they had some really rough times against this Kings team. But Giannis, man, Giannis was going downhill and he could not be stopped. Whether it was a fast break, whether it was, I mean, just any time. And he just, they, they couldn't stop Giannis, no matter what they tried. Drew gets the break, steal and breakaway dunk. Great stuff from him. And the Bucks actually just run away with it in this fourth quarter and then this happens where Giannis is probably just dribbling it out and Brooke Lopez and Trey Lyles get into a fight I'm not gonna show you the video because well you probably all seen it by now because I'm late but hey it was intriguing to see and shout out to Brooke Lopez man the Lopez twins be on some shit <laughs> um, but Brooke just wanted to step up for his teammate and Trail House did something unprovoked in my opinion. Yeah, Yanis could have gone a little more around him, but come on, dog. He was look it looked like he was trying to dribble it out. If you had like 48 points and it felt like he wanted to get a uh 50 piece, then I guess, but it just seems weird. And the Aaron Fox talked about it and said, Yeah, all Yanis had to do was dribble it out, which it felt like he kinda did that, so it was kind of weird tonight from the Kings, this uh, this uh, response. They still played one heck of a game. Kevin Herder had eight three-pointers, which is incredible. They overall shot really well from the three-point line. And the Aaron Fox was spectacular. 35, 8 and 3. Two steals also. A really good game from him. Sabonis with 23, 17 and 15. But his defense was really felt tonight, man. For Giannis, it was like no one was there. Which, I mean, to be fair to him, like, right? For Giannis, it's usually like that. But it was even easier than usual for Giannis, right? It was just too goddamn easy. And I felt like the bench provided some okay sparks for them, but not great enough, right? And, I mean, the Kings just don't have... Um, they, they need one more, they need a defensive power forward or a center. And that's that's the, I mean, imagine a Brook Lopez with them. I feel like that would be a really good fit for the Kings. But that's, of course, unrealistic. But I'm just, you know, saying the type of player they could really use there. And Giannis had 46 and 12 in his return. Five turnovers. But hey, what can you do? 19 of 28, 2 of 2. And like I said, man, he was... Whether it was a fast break, whether it was a half-court defense. Whether it was from a fast break perspective or just half-court defense. Giannis was getting whatever the hell he wanted, man. He was just getting whatever he wanted. And it, of course, helped that the Bucks didn't turn the ball over that much. While the Kings did turn the ball over a little bit more. Or at least it felt like it. At least for sure the Kings turnovers felt more impactful. That's, that's for sure. And... Giannis was just getting straight line drives, but just like that, simple as that. They could not do anything with him, which, like I said, and I'm not going to repeat myself, not my teams can. Brook Lopez with 23 points, 8 rebounds, 3 blocks. He was also too comfortable out there. And to be fair, the Bucks offense has been going off really well. Middleton had 31 points also, 9 assists. It didn't even feel like it, but he he went off. <laughs> it didn't even feel like it when I watched this game. And now I'm looking at this stat sheet and I'm like, damn, Middleton had 31. I mean, he, I felt like he played well, but not this well, right? So the Bucks offense has been clicking, which is great for them. And the bench is also playing some really solid stuff, which is also great. And the Bucks, I, I just like them more and more every day for the title, if they are healthy, which so far they are.